I, I think art conveys messages and I'm trying to convey happy messages. I was a registered nurse and uh, I had started drawing faces at the studio in, in Westmount. And uh, when I went to work, I had all these people, wonderful old faces. And so I used to stay after my shifts and draw them. I grew up in the mountains and I just feel really comfortable here. I was fortunate enough to uh, marry a, well, he was really a nice person, but he happened to be a mining engineer, so it gave me a chance to see different parts of the world which I never dreamt I would ever see. I did go to India, but I also went to Africa. I spent a whole day drawing faces of black women, and they were fascinated. They had seen photographs, but they hadn't seen actually people drawing and the faces and likenesses emerging in the paper, uh, on the paper. And I, I, I just gave it to them. And I'm, I'm kind of sorry because I only have a couple of drawings. I really like to do still life. I, if you notice around my, my house, I have lots of copper and brass and fruit and, and they often go in still life. And it's a wonderful way for a young artist or an older artist. We can set up the light and it stays the same and you can, you can paint. And so uh, you get to eat the fruit afterwards too. <laughs> I still get really incredibly excited when somebody will actually pay money for one of my paintings. I think that's really great. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? If you wanted to be an artist, I felt that you had to be able to do faces and figures. I used to go to Westmount Park and sit by the wading pool, and the little kids would come and I'd have a pen and pencil in my hand and paper and they'd come and look at the paper and I'd say, oh, I'd like to draw your eye. And uh, so can I do that? And they'd say, sure. And then I'd show it to them. And then I'd say, oh, you've got two eyes. Now I've got to do the other eye. So anyway, we'd work our way all the way down the face. And when I got done the, the drawing, I would give it to them and they'd run happily off with the drawing and give it to their mom and dad. I think if, if you're a young painter just starting out, I think the most important thing that you should remember to do is to draw every day. I had a phone call and they said, we have a nice surprise for you. You have been elected to uh, be one of the Mayor's Spotlight on the Arts for this year. And I was absolutely surprised and pleased. Well, what an honor to be um, recognized by your fellow artists.